if no one believed that the academy had a certain level of privilege after hearing this story you most definitely will believe it so this man's name is cam thomas he plays for the brooklyn nets and he was fined forty thousand dollars for saying what they alleged to be a anti-gay or homophobic phrasing do y'all want to know what he said he said no homo while giving a press interview after the game for something he said now we i don't know if people still say that but i know that people say pause nowadays before you know what they're going to infringe on that too because it's like they don't it's like they want you to say it and i have any shame of saying you know it and everything like that but i understand why people say it because if you don't live that lifestyle you're trying to protect yourself from people thinking that you do especially if something comes out in a very not so pleasantry way but they find this man forty thousand dollars for that forty thousand dollars he didn't say that other f word y'all know what word i'm talking about he didn't call them any derogatory word but to blow that out of proportion and find this money forty thousand dollars where he has to pay for that and he gave an apology that's crazy but let me go ahead and get into it the NBA has just handed down its punishment for Cam Thomas finding the Nets guard $40,000 for the comment that it called derogatory and disparaging. Brooklyn Nets guard Cam Thomas used an anti-gay phrase, that's what they say, during his post-game interview on Thursday night and hours later he apologized for it, saying he definitely didn't intend to offend anyone, which I'm sure he hasn't because, like I said, that's a term that many people have used over the years. That's something that we used to say back when I was in college. So we're talking about a phrase that's been around for well over a decade. But of course, at that time when I was in college, nobody was this damn sensitive. Thomas muttered the expression while on the Barclays center court speaking with a TNT reporter after the Nets had beaten the Chicago Bulls 116 and 105. The media member asked Thomas about comments that his new teammate Spencer Dinwiddie had said earlier this week about the Nets needing some help in the looks department. I seen it, Thomas said of Dinwiddie's remarks, but I was like, man, he just talking. We already had good looking dudes. The 21 year old then added no homo. The reporter was immediately caught off guard by Thomas's words saying, surely the league office will enjoy that one. Thomas took the Twitter to issue a, I don't know if this is a, a typo, but it says a may copa, but I'm guessing that is something. Maybe it's an apology or I don't know. It says a short time later. He said, I was excited about the win. It was being playful. Thomas said, I definitely didn't mean to offend, intend to offend anyone, but realized that I probably did. My apologies again. Much love. The NBA has yet to, uh, well, they already have, so I don't even need to read that part. It says, but the league has historically found players in the past for quote unquote homophobic comics comments in fact back in september timberwolf star anthony edwards was docked forty thousand dollars for his previous use of quote-unquote anti-gay language so this happened before so when people say that the academy is has a lot of privileges there you go right there you can just find forty thousand dollars to anybody for saying something and i'm curious to know what that anthony edwards said because they made it seem like it's some kind of major harm to them when people say that. Now, when someone says the N word with us, then they want to try to break it down. Was it with the ER or the A? Does it matter? And I bet you, if some, if some troll wanted to run through run through it here after I just said that. They'll be like, yes, it does matter because it has an A and the ER is racist and the A isn't or something along the lines of, well, if you can say it, why can't we say, it? oh, it's in a rap song. Why can't we rap? Because it's in a song. But this guy tries to tries to clear himself by saying no homo up oh, $40,000 fine. Again, think about this for a second. It wasn't enough. He had to apologize. But they fined him $40,000 dollars now i'm sure with his contract he could afford it but still forty thousand dollars is a lot of money for saying two harmless words i want to know how him saying no homo was going to affect any of their lives 
Was that going to bring harm to them? Was someone going to try and beat them? Or worse, I beg to differ. If that phrase has been going on for so long and it hasn't cost anybody their life, their lives or their livelihood, then I don't I don't see what the big deal is. And of course, you can clearly tell see on the screen your eyes are adjusted. This is a black man. So you know what that also pushes to. The black man oh, uh, let me uh rephrase it. The black heterosexual man is the most homophobic. You know that's coming. They got to push that narrative as well. Any type of negativity that they can put out there and really push as hard as they can, they going to put it on a black man first. Trust and believe. I was just listening to a, a stream that Rob at Blacklight Revelations was doing. I, no, I think he was on his crime cast channel and he was talking about this person again was doing some crime. And then the first thing they wanted to say, as far as a description of the person who did it was a tall Six foot one, big, burly black man. It never fails. It never fails. And I might do a video on this, but recently they just came out with an article where they were saying how Kanye West is the reason for why there's a rise in anti-Semitism. Again, find a way to blame a black man. Now that I mentioned in this video, I might as well, I'm going to have to go ahead and do it now because I don't want to leave y'all hanging, especially since this might be the first time y'all heard about it. But yeah, this is also a way of trying to censor people or to try to keep them from saying, you know, what they want to say. Now, the only thing he's going to have to really do now, he's going to have to make sure he watches what he says on a public forum. But, you know, like you said, in the, in the midst of that excitement. It just kind of, you know, came out, but he didn't think it was going to offend anybody. And he didn't say it to offend anybody. And I'm sure that it was some people in the academy who knew exactly what he meant by that. It's a lot of people who they got in these positions who are so sensitive so they can go after people's pockets. I, I know exactly what they do. They put these people in these positions almost like extortionists. That's basically what it screams to me. And my thing is this. He was fined $40,000. I would like to know where did that $40,000 go to? Does anybody know? Because I never knew that when they have to when they find a player, no matter what sport they're playing, what does that find that they pay? What does that money go to? I'm very curious because they never express it. They never say if it goes to charity or what. Probably the charity of the owner's pockets. And remember, this guy is playing for the Brooklyn Nets, who the, and the owner is Joe Sy, and he already got a checkered uh, resume his damn self, especially with the Kyrie Irving situation. But. I believe this is blown all the way out of proportion, but to find this man $40,000, that's really going over the edge.